Do you have a system of ritual practices? Definitely not. There is no system of ritual or religious practice that we suggest to anyone. We do make some suggestions about them feeling their feelings and emotions because we feel this is a very important part of having a relationship with God. We also make suggestions about praying, in other words, having a desire for God, a longing for God. We also make suggestions that people analyse themselves, that they look at themselves honestly and examine, examine their own you know, concept of themselves to see whether it's actually loving or not the things that they are doing, whether the things they are doing are loving or not. Their treatment of other people, we ask people to examine, you know, whether they are treating other people in a loving manner, how they are treating their environment, we ask people to examine. But we don't have any practice to do it. We just present a whole series of information to people in just the same way as any other person on this planet presents a seminar. So someone like Wayne Dyer or Deepak Chopra even would go further than we do about presenting what I would classify to be rituals. Many of them believe in uh, practicing meditation, for example. We don't even suggest that. So we don't suggest any practice, but we do suggest the need to develop desire to have a relationship with God, a relationship with your partner, a relationship based on love with, all, with God and your partner and others, and a relationship with your children, a relationship with your friends, a relationship with the environment. We suggest that we need to always examine these particular relationships and do whatever we can on a daily basis to improve them. So, uh, but I don't feel that is like a religious practice or a, or a regular practice that needs to be done. That is just something that is a daily occurrence. It is something that any person on this planet, if they are sincere in becoming more loving, they would have that kind of self-examination. Cool. They can also be a member of any religion and have that kind of self-examination. They can be a member of any political party and have that kind of self-examination. I believe that all of the things that Mary and myself are teaching can be incorporated into any organisation on the planet, religious or otherwise, and that organisation will improve in its ability to love other organisations and people. So that's what we suggest to people. Now, of course, many people go, well, that's pretty abnormal because they believe that the only time you should love somebody is when they're your friend or the only time you should love something is when, you know, you're getting something from it or whatever. But we feel you should always love some things. Even if the thing is attacking you, you need to love it. And we need to learn how to love all people in all interactions. That's what we teach. Now, many people, I suppose, may think that's abnormal. Um, but I can't see why they'd be ever frightened of that kind of concept. <laughs>